Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. So I'm, I already pulled the overall energy and that is the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups, which would be a new beginning in love. And I wanted to read a excerpt from The Great Controversy, which is um, SDA um, literature. A whole, all who indulge in sinful traits of character or willfully cherish a known sin are inviting the temptations of Satan. They separate themselves from God and from the watchcraft of his angels. A watch care of his angels, sorry. <laughs> um, as the evil one presents his deceptions, they are without defense and, a, and fall easy to pray. Those who thus place themselves in his power little realize where their course will end. Having achieved their overthrow, the tempter will employ them as his agents to lure others to ruin. So, that to me, with the overall energy being the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups, somebody had was given a new beginning in love by God. But because they willfully were holding on to addictions and to... Um, sexual promiscuity and uh, sexual deviance, like threesomes and uh, group sex and stuff like that, um, they were lured away from their true love, like the person that God sent to them. And now because of that, they, um, they're they in ruin and um, they're trying to take others down with them. Um, and or they're realizing that they they were lured into the spot that they're in now because the person that lured them in just wants misery loves company and they want to take someone else down with them and they didn't want them to get their new beginning in love so they basically tempted them away and they succeeded and now this person is devastated and in despair probably strung out maybe even possibly in jail Okay, let's see. No, I don't want to use these. I, I thought I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, so what I do want to use is I want to use these. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Actually, I think the um, Knight of Cups is Scorpio, possibly Pisces. Five of Cups, the Emperor, the Hangman. So yeah, Pisces, Aries, and Scorpio energy here. Um, we have someone who's crying over an emperor because well, they went and got themselves stuck because they fell for temptation. And not only did they fall for it, they they purposely bonded themselves and stayed stuck to it because they didn't want to admit that they fucked up. And now there's so, someone who is standing in their power, standing in their truth, and going... They're getting the throne. We could have an Aquarius here. We could have a Capricorn. Because the King of Swords is Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, Nine of Pentacles, I'm pretty sure, is Capricorn. Um, so we could have a Capricorn here standing in their authenticity, standing in their power, and claiming the throne. Um, the letters C or J could mean something. Butterflies are significant. Um, somebody could be taking a retreat or um, isolating away from the world to like get closer to God or get closer to um, to find themselves again. Um, we have two men here who are sitting on the throne. So 
one is like solid in its foundation. The other is still like floating above. Hasn't actually grounded. So um, one is ready to go. The other one is almost there. But I wouldn't fuck with either one of them. Because <laughs> the one has a sword in his hand. The other one has... Um, I don't know exactly what that is, but it don't look like it's going to feel good if it hits you. I guess a staff. But, ooh. Oh. And he got a... <laughs> a ball in the other hand. Uh, what do you call that? That shot put? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah. They're both armed with their truth. With their power, and they're not letting anyone fuck with them anymore. It's just one of them hasn't fully grounded themselves in what they believe to be true, and that's what they're doing right now. But they're also dealing with a fake ass Pisces, um, who is telling them that they love them, and it's really just to keep them away from this other, this other um, leader. They're full of fucking secrets and illusions. They're working with somebody else to keep this person away from their true divine counterpart. Um, and the person might actually, the one that's not grounded yet, they might actually know about it because um, they're having fun. So it could be a male and two females that are involved in a love triangle could be I mean two men and a female that are involved in a love triangle but either way it's causing this person from fully accepting or standing on standing firm in their beliefs and what they believe in and what they're going to focus their life uh what they're going to ground their life in and their direction moving forward. Um, because these two people are just promising them the world. And even though they know the world's falling apart and things are not the way that they want them to be, they still pick up that pipe and they still bury their head in between this bitch's legs. Knight of Wands. There was less sex magic done here. There was, there's, this person's bound by lust because they betrayed true love and yeah, and they ran right to this love triangle. Let me kill who I really love and run right over to these two bitches that are prostitutes. The letter X could be significant. Um, the number 10 could be significant. Uh, number 4. Or October 4th. Little baby could be significant. October 9th is also here. June. June 10th. Or October 6th. October is really significant. Montana. Somebody could be up in the mountains. Somebody could be a cook. Somebody could live in Cook County. Somebody's in their 40s. Or just turned 40. Dina. Indiana. You will get that job. The money is coming. So someone promised somebody some money to do this, to betray their tw their twin, their true love. And they haven't paid him yet. And they're making them empty promises that the money is coming. And it's really not. They're never going to get what they were told they were going to get. Because the devil never holds up on his <laughs> end of the bargain. Melissa. 
Edwin. Australia. Drake. <coughs> so maybe somebody was promised a job with little baby or Drake. And that's why they did this. I was under a spell. You're the one that I love. Somebody's starting to wake up to it now. Like, um, what was done to him, but it might be too late. Carter. Or they feel like it's too late, so they're like, fuck it. Let me just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm enjoying it. Edward. Undercover gay. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Maybe um, little baby or Drake is undercover gay, and um, the only way for this person to get the job with them was they had to sleep with them, and they said no. So they didn't get the job, and they lost their true love. A plot twist is coming. Raven. Matt. Kentucky. Scorpio, Dirty Cop. So let's take those out. So death energy here. Um, even though the death card didn't come out, but Scorpio's out a couple times and um, a plot twist is coming. So definitely uh, death and rebirth energy. Aquarius. That's a double confirmation on Aquarius. Vermont. Wednesday, April, so this could happen in April, or candles, I'm sorry, November, so we definitely have Aries and, um, Scorpio energy here, which is our opposite signs. I don't know what Drake or Little Baby's Zodiac is. Massachusetts. Start that business. Tem. Egypt. Someone feels, uh, somebody is, had a past life in, uh, ancient Egypt. Somebody's name is Kim. Sam. Can you ever forgive me? So, somebody is waking up now and realizing, fuck, I, I gave up the best thing that ever happened to me. I lost my empress. I lost my emperor. Um, but they don't know how to firmly plant their feet on the ground and stand completely in their uh, authentic, their authenticity, and um, and tell this and go and face this person. They want to stand in their King of Swords power, but they just don't know how to to get fir uh, like firmly ground rooted in it. They watch your YouTube, uh, and it pisses off the one they chose over you, Big Mad Aries. Who's the bitch now? I know now you're my twin. Jasmine. 30s. Better than I know myself. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I wish I could grab my other bag. So I, could... I really want to know. what Drake or Little Baby's Zodiac is. Oh. Don't let pride get in your way, Leo. 
a win-win outcome is forecast, Libra. And step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So, someone, someone knew that this person was about to actually step into the, uh, their life's purpose, into their North Node. And that's why, well, part of the reason why this was done. Um, and I am, I am going to get my other bag. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Dang it. No, I don't want to call him. Ugh. What is little baby's birthday? Come on, hello. Answer me. December 3rd. So he is a Sagittarius. What is Drake's birthday? Drake was born on October 24th, 1986. Scorpio. So, <laughs> somebody could have been promised a job with Drake and Drake said either sleep with me or you don't get the job and the, this person wouldn't wouldn't do it. Capricorn. Well, I know I would have done it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Libra, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, and Taurus. So maybe there's um, a Taurus, a Pisces, an Aquarius, Virgo, or um, Libra that turned Drake down and didn't want to sleep with him. So Drake turned them down for the job. And now this person's wishing they wouldn't have left their um, their divine counterpart. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio. Be bold and make the first move. No new friends, no new friends. <laughs> oh shit. Be bold and make the first move. Uh, hold your vision. Or maybe the person got the job with Drake and the, dra the person got fucked up like at an after party, like after a concert or something and hit on Drake and Drake fired them. Uh, I definitely feel like Drake is important here. Like there's something to do with Drake anyways. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Oh, crap. <laughs> and now this person doesn't know what to do. Uh, adjustments are required. His life fell apart because, well, for one, <laughs> I kind of feel like that. I kind of feel like it was a, a dude that got his dream job with Drake and then got fucked up and tried to have sex with Drake. And Drake said, dude, you're fired. <laughs> or the dude, like... I don't know. Something, something happened in Drake's camp here recently. <laughs> uh, the energy is gaining momentum. You and your loved ones are safe. Luck is on your side. Sagittarius. There's a little baby. Um, 
A time to give rather than take, Virgo. A new start is coming. A time, it's time to take action. Aries and your commitment's being tested. Okay, um, let's see. Let's get some spirit animals in here and then I'm gonna let this go. <laughs> The Lion, Leo, banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends. The Fox, I think that's Libra. Pretty sure it is. Uh, your sharpened senses allow you to observe the actions of others. Raven, listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit. And the Cobra, change is inevitable, but with it comes the chance to shed a burden. So, take it how it resonates, guys. But just remember, your mind, uh, your heart, and your soul knows who you're supposed to be with. And don't ever, ever doubt your intuition. It was given to you as a gift, and it doesn't ever, it never lies to you. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.